Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. And today we're going to work out uh, truss forces in each of these. Uh, what we have here is 8 kilonewtons going downwards. We have pin support at A. We have roll of support at B. This is all 60 degrees and this is 8 centimeters each. First thing first we have to do is that we assume that the whole structure or the whole truss is just one structure and we try to calculate the reaction forces now A it's a pin support so it takes vertical and horizontal forces B is a roller support so it takes only vertical force now the sum of the forces vertical equals to zero and uh, going up is positive so minus eight plus ra plus rb or well, this is just an assumption it's going up is equal to zero so that would give us ra plus rb is equal to eight and this is the first equation We'll take the sum of the moment, point A is equal to zero, and we assume anti-clockwise to be positive. So we have this is to be eight centimeters. So uh, eight kilonewtons, that's right in the middle, that's four centimeters. And that's uh, clockwise, so minus eight times four and plus rb times 8 and that's equal to 0 now we just do the calculation so 8 rb is equal to 8 times 4 so rb is equal to cancel out rb is equal to 4 and that's kilonewtons. Now since we've got this to be positive, so our assumption to be up upwards is correct. Uh, subbing this into the first equation, we get RA plus 4 is equal to 8. So RA is equal to 8 minus 4. And RA is equal to 4 as well. Now, since this is symmetrical, so it's obvious that we're going to get both action forces to be the same. And this is upwards as well. Now, we move on and uh, we do the nodal analysis. Now, I've just drawn the nodes. This is node A taking these two in consideration that's node B taking these two in consideration and this is node C as well now what we're going to be using for nodal analysis is the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero and you just say this is going up or this is positive. And some of the forces in the x direction equal to zero. And in this direction, positive. Now, since we have two equations, so that means that we can solve only two unknowns. So we start from mode A, what we have here is the reaction force which, uh, which is 4 kilonewtons. We have, um, so this is point A, we have B, 
and we've got C as well. Now this is already known, so we ended up with two unknowns. Now we consider this to be intention, them two to be intention, and this is C. And we start to apply these formulas or these two equations. Okay, so it's very important that we know the angle between these two. Now, what we do is sum of the forces in the y direction equal to zero going up towards this positive. Now, we have to take the components of this. So this would have two components an x component and a y component. Now to get the x and the y components we have to use the sine and a cosine. So we start adding up the uh, forces in the y direction. So we have 4 plus 4 basically and that's going to be positive as well. So plus AC sine 60 and there's no more uh, forces so that's equal to zero. Now AC sine 60 is equal to minus 4 so AC is equal to minus 4 divided by sine 60. So we can just work this out. So that's going to be AC is equal to minus 4.62. We just round up, round out the uh, the answer in the kilonewton. And since we've got this in negative, so that means that this is in compression. Okay. Now we move on to uh, some of the forces in the x direction equal to zero, and choose this direction to be positive. And what we have here is AB in the x direction, so that's AB. Assuming that this is in uh, tension, so the force is going that way, so it hits positive. Uh, we have AC, now we just keep that in uh, tension, right? We keep that in tension, but we use this answer, which is minus. So we do plus AC cosine 60. Right, so that's equal to zero. Now AB plus now AC is negative, so we just sub this in minus 4.62 cosine 60 is equal to zero. So AB is equal to times cosine 60 that B. 2.31 kilonewtons. Now we've got this answer in positive, so this is intention. Okay. Now we've done AB and we've done AC. Okay, so AC is um, minus 4.62, AB is 2.31. And this is 4. Now we can move on and do node B. So in node B, we've got the reaction force, which is upwards, 4 kilonewtons. We've got this. Let's say this is intention. And we've got, so this is B, this is A, and that's C. 
and we apply the same thing again. So sum of the forces in the y direction equals to zero. And we've got this going upwards, so that's four plus four. That's 60 degrees. So plus BC sine 60 is equal to zero. So BC is equal to minus four divided by sine 60. And BC would be equal to 4.62. Same as the other one, and that's negative. Sorry, so that's in compression as well. And now we'll move on with the other equation. So, sum of the fx equal to zero. Uh, this is going upwards, is positive, and this is in this direction, positive. And we've got BA. It's minus BA because it's going the opposite way as what we've chosen. And that's going the opposite way as what we've chosen. So that's minus BC cosine 60 is equal to zero. Now I will check for BA so or AB. So I've got this to be 2.31. Right, so that's minus already did it. Um, the minus is already there, so minus 2.31 minus we've got this to be minus 4.62, so minus 4.62 cosine 60 degrees is equal to zero. And let's have a look if that matches. So minus 2.31 plus and this is 2.31 as well so the check is good so we know that um, we've done everything uh, right and that's basically how we do uh, analysis for, for a truss so this is a very simple truss uh, we might get some other trusses I'll be posting some videos about more complicated trusts and uh, we're going to be using some other methods uh, like the method of sections for example and so till then um, see you and thanks for watching and just don't forget to subscribe and like the video or comment if you have any questions and thank you very much